Well, one of the things that uh, that I do, of course, is coordinate the work of several conservation and community-based groups that really want to see the investments of the Restore Act dollars, National Fish and Wildlife Foundation funds, and other Gulf Recovery funds go to true ecosystem recovery. And the things that Mississippians have said in public meetings are so important to them across the board are things like water quality, uh, living resources, our fisheries, our shellfish, uh, commercial and recreational fishing, um, and, uh, and things like that. And a baseball stadium, it, while it's not a bad thing, and it may be an economic boost, is not truly related to ecosystem restoration. So it perhaps our dollars could be better spent on something that is really more sustainable and helps protect the environment and translate into sustainable jobs like nature-based tourism. Well, you're right, it's a $700 million industry between the commercial and the recreational uh, uh, fishing industry. And there's been some good recovery since the spill. Uh, one of the areas that's of great concern is our uh, oyster uh, resources and we've all read and, and learned about how difficult it is to restore them and the struggles today with uh, with being able to have a commercial harvest and balance that with having a sustainable resource so that's definitely an area of great concern across the Gulf and it's a uh, problem that our state can't solve by itself and probably uh, the solutions and maybe some of the answers why in Mississippi working with the other Gulf states and really trying to study why we're having problems with recruitment uh, with oysters and what can be done across the Gulf. Well, we saw what Katrina did and many decades ago Camille so an enormous direct hit would again be devastating. I, we've, we've not done enough to improve the resiliency of our coast and part of becoming a more resilient coast is making sure that our natural ecosystem functions the way it, it should. So those, those marshes, those seagrass beds, those barrier islands, even our coastal forest and the, the land between the beaches and developed areas, uh, those are barriers for us, are storm barriers for us, and there are still many areas that uh, where we're still having a lot of erosion problems. Hancock County Marsh is a great example of that. So we haven't, probably haven't gotten as far as we should have in terms of improving our resiliency. Hopefully some of the investments from uh, the BP oil disaster will not only help restore uh, our Gulf ecosystem, but will have a, a benefit of rep improving resi natural resilience.